My time, right? Okay. Right. Time. Walt Disney once famously said, to succeed, work hard, never give up, but above all, cherish a magnificent possession. This pandemic has disrupted and changed many of our lives. But for you and I, being back here shows we share and cherish an obsession for specialty coffee. And today, we're going to see how these obsessions has led to the development of one of the most amazing coffee. But first, I'll be pulling some shots for our signature drink, which we will serve it later on. Now, you will find on your table that there's an information card. It contains the necessary information that will help us through our tasting experience today. Our obsession begins with quality. And that brings us to the 186 farmer at Ruru Factory, Nyeri, Kenya. Here at 1,800 meters, SL28 and SL34 thrives as a high, as a has a quality, good quality cup and high yielding crop. However, the pandemic has disrupted the lives of many of the farmers. And the reduce in quality and price has caused many of them to give up farming. Sammy, the manager at Ruru Factory, realized this and knew he needed to uh, re-strategize for the future by improving the quality of his coffee to quality fermentation. He began to understand how the existing microorganisms on his SL28 and SL34 play an important role during the metabolic process, breaking down pectinaceous sugar to organic acids. Now, these metabolites that's been produced infuse into our coffee seed during fermentation, enhancing our coffee's flavour and body. However, you can see here that over-fermentation is posing a problem to Sammy due to the excessive bacterial proliferation. So, to overcome that, Sammy devised an amazing workaround by first proliferating bacteria with starter cultures and cascara to, 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 to help produce two wonderful friends, Lactobacillus and Saccharomyces. Now, when they work together in harmonious balance, they will produce wonderful flavour-active metabolites. Next, he mixed the proliferated culture with our coffee cherry, put it in a silk container under low temperature with very little oxygen. They monitor the temperature, bricks, and pH to control proliferation rate and thus increase the uniformity between bacteria and yeast, encouraging a better enzymatic reaction. So to simply put it, balance is the key for quality fermentation. Thanks to Sammy, today our coffee has the most complex acidity and elegant body when it reaches its desired pH of 3.8 after an extended fermentation of 168 hours and followed by a slow drying of African bake for 35 days. Now, you must be excited to know how it will taste. So let's begin with your espresso course. Sammy's obsession for quality motivates us to work on our extraction and roasting. Stir, stirring our obsession for flavour and sweetness. The 168 hours of fermentation intensifies the fruit character in our coffee. And today, in your cup, you will experience them as 
red currants and black grapes. The, stopping the fermentation at pH 3.8 is crucial to prevent the development of undesirable tastes. And it helps in our extraction today as I'm dosing 19.2 grams in, 39 grams out, with a 21% extra percent extraction at 93 degrees to give you a clean and balanced cup and also highlight those wonderful flavours that Sammy has worked so hard for. So for your taste experience today, please help me to find a medium, vibrant medium-high acidity with medium-high sweetness and low medium bitterness, sorry, medium bitterness with the flavours of red currants, black grapes, red cherries. The tetao is simply amazing. You will find a medium round body with a smooth texture and a gentle, long floral finish. Now, when you receive the espresso, please tell me to stir 10 times. I find that the flavours are more pronounced. We enjoy it at a slightly lower temperature. Please, enjoy the espresso. Are we ready? Now, when we sting milk, lactose breaks down to sweeter sugar molecules like glucose and galactose. While the fat, casein and whey protein helps to create a stable foam that gives us that creamy mouthfeel. In our obsession to find the most suitable milk, we experimented with many milks in Melbourne. And then we found one that's a fat content of 4.2 with a protein content of 3.2, the best complement, the tactile and sweetness of this Kenyan. The slow drying helps to create a stable and better moisture control. As the greens arrive at our roastery, helping us in our roasting, this coffee was roasted 13 days ago, with a total roasting time of 8 minutes and a development of 18% to increase the sweetness and the tactile. Today, when combined with milk, it will taste simply wonderful. You get a smooth and creamy texture with the flavours of vanilla cream. cookie dough chip and a jasmine milk tea Right, thank you for waiting. 
Now, to give this a creamy and balanced milk beverage, I've stinged my milk with a 30% aeration to 60 degrees, and I'll be serving you as a 5-ounce milk beverage. Go, you first. Thank you. Please enjoy. Once again, you can help me to look out for beautiful notes of vanilla cream, cookie dough chip, and jasmine milk tea with a smooth and creamy texture. First, please enjoy. Please enjoy. Now, I hope you enjoy our experience so far. For our final signature drink, I draw inspiration from the hard work that has been done at Ruru Factory. The meticulous fermentation inspired me from my first ingredient. You can see over here, this is a pineapple star fruit water kefir done with one part pineapple, two parts star fruit, and three parts water kefir fermented for 24 hours below 20 degrees chill immediately to prevent the formation of alcohol. Seeing how Sammy work with existing microorganisms to increase the flavour quality of his coffee inspired me to use these tropical fruits available locally at my place. We're going to add 50 grams of this into our drink today to transform those current snow that you had in our espresso earlier to new flavours of guava. Next, seeing that Sammy reused cascara inspire me to reuse the fermented fruits and slow dry them on a dehydrator for 12 hours to make this cold brew fruit tea done with one part of the dry fruit, 10 parts of the water, steep for 24 hours. Using 50 grams of this today in our drink will help us to open up just the right amount of flavour clarity that we need. Our third ingredient is a muscat grape sugar maturation done with one part muscat grape and one part cane sugar matured for 24 hours. Adding 10 grams of this into our drink today will help bind all ingredients together and give this drink a bittersweet finish. Lastly, four shots of espresso quickly chilled with this hyper chiller to open up more aromatic notes. We will give this a, a blend to add to it a creamy texture. Now, your signature drink will be a chilled beverage. I want you to assess the aroma first, but don't drink it just yet. On the aroma, you will get flower honey. Then, as you take your first sip, you get a creamy texture. Like freshly drafted stout. Then, take your second sip. And then you'll find new flavours of guava, sweetness of snow pear, and yellow pomelo finish. Assess the aroma first, please. Now, 
please help me to celebrate this moment to be able to be back here in Melbourne once again. So let's lift our glass together and let's cheers together and never forget our obsession for quality coffee. Cheers. Please enjoy time.